In this video, I will explain you about GD32B RISC-V controller getting started and debugging. This controller is one of the lower cost RISC-V controller available and uh, I think there are many architectures available and what makes this chip special? We have x86 architecture, ARM architecture, SH architecture, MIPS and there are many varieties of architectures available. And why RISC-V? RISC-V is open source architecture and anyone can implement microcontroller using RISC-V architecture without paying royalty to any company. So this will bring down the cost of the chip and in the long run the chip rate will be lower. For platform IO installation and configuration please refer my previous video. Now click Visual Studio Code. Click platforms. Search GD thirty two V. GD thirty two V. Click install. Installation completed. Go to projects. Select Arduino Blink Import Go to Projects Open Click workspace. Open platform AI and a file. I'll give this settings in the description. So this is uh, this is the setting for FT. 232H port. If you are using any other JTAG port, please change the configuration as per that. I have modified this code and I will give that code in the link. Okay. 
this board has three LEDs so in order to accommodate uh, two more extra LEDs I have modified the code and I will give the code in the description below. Now build and start debugging. This will install open OCD. Okay, you can see this. Now uh, there are three LEDs red, green, blue, three LEDs are there. So each one one is each one is connected to different ports. Port A, A2 and port C13. So initially I am making all of them high, then I am turning on one by one, so low it makes it on, so now show you, you can see First, the first LED goes on, that's green. Next, blue. Next, red. Of course, you can monitor any variables. You can add watch. I'll run. You can see them blinking. Mm -hmm. 